Hi guys, as some of you may know, I am not just a dancer and now a vlogger, but I am also a hairdresser. So today I'm going to show you some hairstyles that you can do on yourself at home and I'm going to teach you step by step this hairstyle I had for my very first dance with Joe Sugg on Strictly Come Dancing. First thing you need to do is part your hair into what is called a cobweb section. I know, very Australian that. Basically you go from the front of your scalp all the way to the back and that's your first section. So you've got it into two sections. So like you're going to go and do pigtails. Then you chop it in half again. Now on this side I have two sections. Now you can tie them up to get them out of the way. So there's two. Now on this side you're just going to do exactly the same thing. I usually go from the ear up, so that's where you'll know where to take the cobweb section. Now, you have four sections. So that is what you call a cobweb section. Like a spider web, I guess you is could that say. Is it done? No, it's not done. Oh, so that looks good. That's your prep, okay? What's the point of the prep that you've already taken it down? It keeps it all intact and you know what section you're working on. A lot of people make this mistake of just trying to do their hair and not sectioning it. Just section your hair. Okay, seems pointless, but I'm taking out the first two sections. What you need is one of these bad boys. It's called a tail comb, all right? It's got the big long stick at the end. If you don't have a tail comb, you can use like a section clip. If you don't have a section clip, you could even use a bobby pin or I don't know what else I've got in here. I thought you were gonna say, if you, have a, if you have a tail comb, then you're a loser. <laughs> then you're a loser. <laughs> and stop this video right now. <laughs> or you can use even, what are these called? Tweezers. Tweezers. Really? Anything that has a tippy end. Kitchen knife? No. no. Maybe not a kitchen knife. You could get free red hair if you used a kitchen knife. <laughs> like that. What you're going to do is, that's your middle part, take a little bit from your right and a little bit from the left. You're going to sneeze? No. no. Right, so that is your first section. You're going to grab it and twist it back like so. You're going to need some bobby pins. I mean, if your hair's red, get red bobby pins, unlike me. I've got gold bobby pins, makes a lot of sense. And you're just going to pin the back of that in, all right? So there's your first twist. You just keep on going on each side, taking small little sections and twisting. Gosh, if anyone watches this that I used to go to school with, they'll be like, she used to do her hair like this all the time. So as you can see, I'm doing loads of little twists. You could either split them in two or I'm just going to take it back in one section. I'm going to twist, 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 twist and pin. There we go. So that's one side done of your cobweb section. Other side, you're just going to do the exact same thing. So you take a section, pin, take another section. Also try and remember how many you've done on each side so you can match it up. On the other side I did one, two, three, so I'm gonna do one, two, and take this as my third one. You can do it a lot neater and get like really, really straight lines in between. And pin. There's your twist done. Now that you've got all those pinned in, you can release your back two cobweb sections. Ooh. Look at that. One style is you could just leave your hair down and free with your twists up the top. Keeps it off your face, but creates like a little bit of a stylish headband. You could curl this bit, you could straighten this bit, you could do whatever you want with that. Or you could turn this into another style. This is another style I also had on Strictly. Take the ends of the top bit and turn it into a little bun up the top. You don't have to be neat with this because the messier actually these little things are, the better. Pin them in. It would be a lot easier if I had a big mirror. Another note, do it in front of a big mirror. There's a giant mirror to look here. Right, so there's one little bun. Then get the, it's the ends of the twists. And all I do is just place it like that and pin. Right, so there's hairstyle number two. And if you all recall, I had something very similar 
in my Mbop Sandbar with Joseph Sugg. I've done two styles in one there. I've done my Jive style, which was the first one, and then I've done my Mbop Samba style. Okay, the next style is one that's very close to my heart because this is what I used to do every day for school. This one is called Surfy Style. I would keep in these bits, that just gives it your base. Those four cobweb sections that we started off earlier with, you're sort of going to go back to that, okay? So cut it in half. But you've lost two cobweb sections, the front two are stapled to the top of your head, isn't they? No, because there's still a little oh, bit there. Two more out I'm going to make two more out of this. This top section, all I want you to do is scrunch it up in your hand like that and place it like that, okay? Oh. Scrunch and place. You're gonna have to have bobby pins ready in hand because this is the fun bit. Just pin wherever you can. So the bottom section now, you do the same thing. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And then pin. I think this is my favorite one. This is your favorite? Yeah. This one's cool. Surfy style. I love that it's your favorite. This. This made me quite famous at school, this hairstyle. You're gonna do the same with the other side. Famous at school. It did. I used to go to people's house in the morning, I kid you not, and do this hairstyle for them because they didn't know how to do it. You're welcome everyone at home because now you can go to school with this hairstyle. Scrunch, 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 and pin. Do you know what else I used to do? On the walk to school, I would pass so many frangipani trees. Do you all know what a frangipani is? Frangipan crumble. Frangipani tree? No, I don't have a frangipani tree. You don't have frangipanis here? Got <gasps> they are the most beautiful flower, and I would get one. You can get them in pink or white, and I'd get one and I'd put it on the side. Aww. I felt so home and away, it was not even funny. So, same with the bottom section, I've just scrunched it and pinning away. If you've got a lot of hair, this is quite hard. You may need to do it in smaller sections. But for people with less hair, this is so easy to do. You really just want it to look like you've not done your hair, even though you've probably spent about 10 minutes on it. You want to have some bits that are loosened out. You don't want it to look too done. You can pull some bits out on the side. And if you want, Google for Andropani trees because you don't have them here. Or if you're watching in Australia. Maybe a daisy, a daisy. You could get a daisy, but I prefer frangipanis. Or, a, or what about a stinging nettle? What? A stinging nettle. Well, maybe not, because they sound like they're poisonous. Anyone watching in Australia, get yourself frangipani, chuck it in the side, take a picture and send it to me. Bring back so many memories. It's very 90s this as well, I feel. Yeah. You could put this That's hairstyle it. on with like a really cool 90s outfit. the fun stuff's done, I'm going to teach you how to get Jessica Rabbit hair. If your hair's good, everything's good, I always feel. Such a hairdresser thing to say, but it's true. Now that all of the pins are out, I'm just going to give my hair a bit of a brush. Pick a side, any side. I'm going to go with this side and part my hair there. You sound like a hair magician. I am a hair magician. Well, I don't know what side that is. Right or left? Left or right? What side is that? That's your right. My right. That's my left. Okay, my right, your left. Don't ever fight against your natural parting. But you can actually, because that gives it more volume. Whatever. That's true, I learnt that. If you go the opposite side of your parting, it actually give you, gives it naturally more volume. All right, Joseph. <laughs> Can't wait for your hair tutorial. Come in 2020. Barber Joe. This time, don't worry about your cobweb sections. Just take sections like this along your head. So, one, two, three, four. The I main... declare a thumb wall. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, eating cookies off a plate. Five, six, seven, eight, try and keep your thumb straight. Oh god, I can't do that, I've got a fat thumb. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. The most important thing here is, don't take a big section, make sure your sections are clean and start from the bottom. What I want you to do is, you're going to curl everything the same way around your head. I'm curling everything this way around. I'm using the Baby Bliss Pro, the Who? one, it's called Baby Bliss Pro. No, it's, it's called Babyliss. Oh. But he always called it Baby Bliss. I've always called it a Baby Bliss. Oh, how embarrassing. You must just be a hairdresser as oh well. Oh my god, is it actually called Babyliss? Yeah, look, look Why is it spelled like B-A-B-Y? That's baby. It's Babyliss. Babyliss Crazy Brain. Alright, you tell me everyone, do you call it Baby Bliss or do you call it Babyliss? I called Baby Bliss. 
fabulous. Anyway, every single section has to be curled the same way. Leave it on for enough time, but not too long that it starts to sizzle. And there's curl number one. Next section. Where are you putting that? Oh, is that a heating mat? It's a heating mat, yes. That's good. Be very careful. I wouldn't want to burn Joe's couch now, would I? Or would I imagine? Next section. Isn't a um, porous an animal? Like a dolphin? No, that's a walrus. Oh, I'm thinking of porpoise. Oh, <laughs> never heard of one of those. Do you want me to curl your hair as well? Absolutely not. That would be lovely, actually. I'd love to see your hair curl. Should I do it? Yeah. Have a full curls. Yeah. Like, you're never going to leave it like that. You will eventually brush it out. Oh, you look like Captain Hook. Yeah. But you need to let it cool down before you can brush it out or else you'll lose the form. That's a very important tip. Oh. Okay, Joe. So... Yeah, I understand. That's why your curls didn't last the other night. Okay. Over to this side. Oh, and you repeat this all the way around until you get to the top. They should bring out a wireless version of, uh, of this product. They actually should bring out a wireless <laughs> version because it can be a little difficult, <laughs> especially when you're doing it in awkward places. Yeah, there's a lovely backdrop. Look at these plants. I know. Look at that. I said to Joe, I can't do it here. It's not good conditions. Joe said it's good conditions for filming. Up to the last section of the... What did I call this again? Curly Barnet. Just grab it. That's it still curling everything the same way I can't express that enough stress that oh I can't stress that enough right I feel like I've done it all so another tip <laughs> always get someone to check the back because if you can't see the back of your head you'll miss a bit and you never want to curl your hair and then have one straight bit that's so awkward so Joe can you check the back for me yeah it's straight no it's, it's not. cool though where's it straight like, it's, it's at the back of your head. Where? Oh, no, no, it's fine. That's good. We're good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm no hair expert. Always make sure you turn your appliance off. It's like getting your friends to check the back of your shoes for dog poo. If you think you're dog Yeah, poo. I guess so. I'm just going to get this hair out of my brush. Well, where's that going? I'll put it... <laughs> Into your mate. No, no, not on the floor! <laughs> Crikey. Now that it's all curled and you've let it cool down, it looks scary because you're like, what are you doing? You're brushing it all out, but this is very important. You must then brush the hair out. Why is that important? Because this just gives it such a better look. That's more the Jessica Rabbit theme. This is more the Jessica Rabbit theme. The other side's more... You can curl your hair like this, but even if you wanted to just use your fingers to break it up a bit. See, like this... It's still cool, but you must always break up the curl. I brush this side out to make it... it makes it more volume, volume as well. Yeah. This is more your Jessica Rabbit yeah. side. And this, you could, all, you could also more, say that's a bit more surfy it's, it's style. Still, but it's still cool. But I'm going to go with Jessica Rabbit on this side as well. I'm really not afraid to get that brush in there. Even if it goes a bit frizzy, you can use product and oils to calm all that down. Because with the Jessica Rabbit almost want it to like sit against your face another little trick you can put a few clips in like this and spray that down so then it really sets the hair like that and then after a little while take out the clips also nice sometimes to pin a little section back behind the ear gives it a bit more definition just put a bit of this is Joe's hairspray, thanks so Joe. that stuff. It is really strong, this. Can you even do a bit of that at the bottom? Get a bit of volume. Look at that wave in there. So that's it for today's hairstyles. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you a lot. Let me know, though, if there's any hairstyles that you want help with or you just love the look of them and you think, I don't know how to do that, send me a picture of them because I might be able to recreate or know how to do them and I can show you guys. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Send me photographs of you guys trying out these hairstyles. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you very much. Goodbye from Hairdresser Die. Is that it? Yep. Nice.